we have all heard of the idea that what doesn't kill you make you stronger. So it turns out that you know uh, we all experience challenges, suffering in this lifetime, and there are studies to show that you know great suffering and trauma can lead to positive changes um, across a wide range of um, domains and experiences. In March 11, 2004, there's this train bombing incident in Madrid, and psychologists have found that after the train bombing incident, many residents actually experience this thing called post-traumatic growth. So what does this post-traumatic growth or positive growth entail? So they found that this positive growth can include maybe an increase in spirituality, um, increase in compassion for others, you know, openness, greater appreciation for life and um, social relationships. Of course, this isn't true for everyone. People's ability to actually find this growth is highly dependent on how they interpret the situation. Their ability to actually approach and accept um, what they are going through instead of avoiding it and suppressing it and also levels of optimism all play a part in determining whether a person can actually experience this positive growth. So it's really not the event that actually determines whether people experience the positive growth, but it's the subjective experience of the event.